Spring has arrived, which means it's time to go outside and enjoy the weather, right? Nah, I like my gadgets too much. I'm Rob Wilson, you're watching C4 eTech, and this is 7 apps to freshen up your smartphone. Let's start off with some screenshots from my phone. Admittedly, it's some very boring ones, but there is an app that can instantly spruce them up by adding a phone frame around the picture and changing the background. The app is called Screener, and this is how it works. Choose from a flat, 3D or minimal style, and then pick your frame from those available. We'll take a 3D image of a Nexus 6P phone for this example. Next up, you'll want to add a screenshot, and you do this by pressing on the center of the phone and then choosing any picture from your photo gallery. The one thing to bear in mind when choosing a screenshot is that it needs to be of a similar portrait style dimension to a smartphone or everything will get stretched out of proportion. Once you've added a screenshot to your phone, you can make a few cosmetic changes to it, such as adding a shadow, changing the background color, or even adding a second picture as a background. If you are a developer and you quickly want to make some impressive looking screenshots for your application, then Screener is absolutely ideal. There's plenty of frames to choose from and I'm sure more will be added as the app is updated. Oh, and one final thing, Screener also includes smartwatches, which allows us to unveil a C4 eTech exclusive. Awesome. Our next agenda is the clipboard. Copy some text and note the icon that's appeared in the notification tray. On closer inspection, that's an app called Clipboard Actions that will add various functions to anything you copy. In the case of this word, it shows you a dictionary definition, but you can also search for it on the web, translate it, or find its location on a map. And by the way, for non-English people, that word is pronounced Leicester. Clipboard also recognizes different things you copy. So if you copy an email address of a person who doesn't work for C4 eTech, it will give you the option to create an email. For numbers, it will provide the option to ring that number or add it as a calendar entry. And to cap off this neat little application, it stores all your previously copied stuff until you delete them. Basically, this is copy and paste, and search, and translate, and define, and share. Next up is an app that will help you stack up future tasks. Android has a tendency to redirect you immediately to links that you press on. But what if you could store them up for later, yet instant access? Well, that's what Flinks does. Whenever you tap on a link, it loads that link in the background and displays it on screen via a floating button, exactly like Facebook Messenger. Admittedly, that's going to make Flinks a love or hate relationship, but there you go. The link is stored and you can access it at any time by pressing on the button. When you finish with the link, simply drag it to the bottom to delete it, and you'll remain on your original page, be it YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. Every time you tap on a link, it will queue itself to Flinks, so theoretically you can have several articles all lined up without ever having to leave the app you were originally on. Better yet, I've just shared all of our C4 eTech social media platforms, so don't forget to get in touch. Our next app is a battery saving app, but it saves battery in a somewhat unorthodox manner, and it only works on AMOLED displays like the Samsung Galaxy S phones. These screens have the ability to switch off any individual pixel displaying a black color. And what Pixel Saver does is generate a mesh of black pixels across your screen in order to save battery. Now the impact on you as a user is usually a darker screen because pixel densities are so high these days, you shouldn't be able to pick out any individual black spots. It can save in the region of 10 to 20% of your battery depending on the intensity at which you set the levels. Pixel Saver can also include a facility to kick in when your battery is low. Now, obviously no one wants to intentionally make their screen look worse, but when it comes to squeezing out as much as you can from your battery, it's a necessary evil. Next up is Stitch and Share, the app that lets you take multiple screenshots and glue them all together automatically. Let's take the settings screen as an example. Simply take a screenshot as you normally would, and when you do, a Stitch and Share icon will be displayed in a notification tray, which means it's keeping an eye out for more similar screenshots. Next, scroll down to almost the end of your first screenshot and take another one. Don't worry about any duplication of images, as Stitch and Share will sort that out for you. Continue to do this for all of your screens, and then head on over to the app itself, which you can do through the notification. You can preview the image here before pressing the share button, then selecting share file and saving the image to SD card. 
Once completed, check your photo gallery and you will see that all your screenshots have been merged into one long picture. Our next stop is Material App Showcase. This collates applications that use the material design language that Google has been pushing ever since Android Lollipop. Gone are those Wild West days when every Android app looked completely different. Now material design brings uniformity. It looks great and it represents that the app is quite up to date. Obviously, this app uses material design as well, although the plus center on that button is weirdly off center. Anyway, you can search through different apps and categories through the menu on the left side of the screen and any app that takes your fancy you can tap on to be sent straight to the Google Play Store to download. Now usually I don't cover games on C4E Tech, but this one has some educational qualities. Z-Type is a space shooting game controlled solely by your on-screen keyboard. Words descend from the top of the screen and you blast them to pieces by typing out the word. Complete the word to destroy the enemy and type out all of the words to complete the wave and move on to the next one. It's a very simple premise, but an unusual one. Unless you were around in the mid 90s and were a fan of Sega, because you'll remember Typing of the Dead, where the heroes with keyboards literally strapped to their chests fended off zombie hordes by typing out the words enormous hair. Well, Z Type at its heart is kind of the same thing, and it's a lot more addictive than you might think. As a training aid for a new smartphone with a new screen size, I can't think of a better way to learn whilst having a bit of fun. And don't forget to share your highest wave levels in the comments below. Mine's Wave 8. So there you have it folks, seven apps to spring into the new season. I hope some of them find their way onto your smartphone. But since we have a little bit of time and the weather's so nice, let's have a bonus look at the planet that we live on. If you're a fan of Google Earth pictures and changing your wallpaper up every once in a while, then you don't need to look any further than Earthview Beta. It showcases the Earthview Android library, each one being a highly detailed 1800 by 1200 resolution picture that fits perfectly as a wallpaper for your mobile phone. There are more than 1500 pictures available in this app and by pressing the plus button in the bottom right hand corner you'll get several options including that all important one that applies the current picture as your wallpaper. As always, thank you very much for watching C4E Tech today. If you have any comments or opinions about any of the apps you've seen, drop them in the comments below. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.